everybody, it's Jay Fitzloff, associate producer at Vigil Games, and back again showing you some boss fights from Darksiders 2, this time showing you the Bone Giant. Uh, doesn't quite start off as a giant, starts off as kind of this bone snake, more like. And um, earlier in the, this level, you got the ability called Death Grip, which is kind of this zip line that Death shoots out. You use, you, use it a lot to traverse through levels to uh, get up to higher spots, cross chasms, things like that. But you can also use it in combat. Smaller enemies, it would... Um, pull them towards you or trip them up. For larger enemies, such as Nashville here and the Bone Giant that's coming up, it pulls death towards them. And it's handy because it helps to close the gap. You know, if you've uh, dodged out of the way and can't quite get to them in time, you can use the uh, death grip to get close. But we designed this boss fight specifically to use death grip just in case a player hasn't kind of caught on to how it functions in combat we make sure you have to use it in combat, therefore it becomes part of your repertoire. And we do it with any quest-based item to make sure it's also usable in combat or something useful outside of just uh, something to solve the puzzle. So here we go, Bone Giant forming right now. And I always hold this one kind of uh, close to my heart because this was the first boss we actually got functioning uh, in the game. And I think our first uh, live demo we ever did of the game. This is the part we showed because again it was functional and it looked cool too and uh, another little interesting fact about this is it wasn't originally in the design of the game. Um, from what I heard it was just an art meeting and somebody had this sketched out uh, kind of you know just tramped it up you know how you kind of goofing off in a meeting and not paying attention and doodling and some guy was working on uh, this creature and somebody's looking over his shoulder and you know brought it to attention and all of a sudden uh, yeah, it ended up in the game because it was just such a cool idea, but that's definitely what's been cool about Darksiders 2 and working at Vigil's art-centric studio, but your position and things like that don't matter, it just matters the cool idea and the best idea rises to the top. So the secret here for the Bone Giant is you'll get him to a certain point and when he screams, he'll like lower his head and scream out at you, and when you do that, again, you can use the ghost hook to grab the, uh, that, that snake part, the natural part, pull that out of him again, and then beat the crap out of that. And the secret to any combat in Darksiders 2 is keep moving. If you stand still, Darksiders, you're not gonna do too well. That's an agile character, so we make it so you wanna make sure you're always moving and always on the go, dodging out of the way, ducking in, making attacks, getting out of the way. But he took care of business on that guy now. Now he'll duck back in. You might have some problems with him. It's actually, that's another cool thing about this boss is, you know, some of bosses you can definitely see patterns, and this one definitely has a certain amount of pattern, but for this guy in particular, you're never quite sure when he's gonna reform that bone giant. So you always have to stay on the move and keep waiting for him to get back into the swing of things before you're back into the kind of the combat you get used to. But that's what we like to do too is keep uh, mixing things up on you so it's not the uh, same thing over and over again, especially the combat game. If you were just pushing X the whole time, it would be a pretty uh, dull affair. So we like to keep things fresh for you guys. This is also, you meet the uh, Bone Giant, he's the champion of the arena, and you're uh, trying to get an audience with the Dead King, he's kind of your secret to get into the uh, Well of Souls, and he tells you if you can beat the champion of the arena, which uh, no one's ever done before, then uh, you can get an audience with the Dead King, so I think it's looking like we'll get an audience with that Dead King after all, if everything goes according to plan here. <laughs> Another thing I don't think I mentioned, I think you see those numbers popping up out of the screen, like for example, uh, he's, we're using a weapon where uh, it can set your enemy on fire, so then you saw the fire damage, and then you saw, when you see that number that's on fire, that lets you know you started the enemy on fire. 
And the reason we added those kind of uh, combat numbers is just because of the loot system. We got uh, random items dropping and wanted to make sure players had instant feedback on whether, you know, if their weapon's doing more damage or if it's doing damage specifically against that creature, since some creatures could be more resistant than others to certain damage types. And the Dead King asked for his head, and there it is. Return that to the Dead King, talk to a man, and get on with our mission. Look for Darksiders August 14th for PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC.